Hey, this is Mass X with a new Bleach Immortal Soul video. And we're gonna do today, we're gonna talk about what I think, in my opinion, are the five most underrated characters in this game. And if you couldn't guess, we're gonna start off with SSR Yurichi. I bring that one to everybody's attention because she's an absolute beast. I know quite a few people on my server that use her and I've seen her in action and she is just crazy. So let's kind of talk about her for a second. I haven't been lucky enough to awaken her yet, but let's take a quick look. And when you awaken her, okay, after successfully blocking attack, deal damage equal to 80% of your Richie's defense to the enemy that attacked you. Absolutely awesome on the front line to add some extra push to help break through your opponent's front line. And the second socket, which I'm only two away from, after successfully blocking an attack, the ally back row gains 10% increased attack for one round, and the effect cannot be stacked. No biggie, because it's only one round. But isn't that just sweet? Gives an extra push to your back line. But let's talk about what her skill set is, because she is just a solid character. Her passive skill, blocking increases the mastery skill proc chance for the next round. At the start of a round, if your Richie's rage is lower than 250 or greater than 750, she gains for one round. Otherwise, her rage recovery rate is increased by 20% for one round, which is just sweet, okay? Because you get the, the rage recovery rate increase of 20% is so nice. And if you do activate, when being attacked, the attack cannot critically hit or be an ultra crit. Block chances increase by 35%. Again, just helping her tank even harder on that front line. Her rage skill deals damage to a single enemy, increases the effect reduction of ally front row by 20% for two rounds, and your Richie's block chance by 30% for one round, has a 35% chance to send the target for one round. Of solid frontline tanker rage skill for being an SSR to say the least. And her mastery skill deals damage to a single enemy plus additional damage equal to 1.5 times your Richie's defense. Yurichi regenerates 25% of the health she has lost. Again, that's what makes her so great. I used her before Awakening a lot. I haven't used her much lately, and I think the reason why people don't talk about her so much was that she is not a readily available character all the time because she was a season pass, if I'm not mistaken, but... She is well worth it. And even at five stars, she is a solid front liner. If you're looking for somebody or need something or you want to change up what you've been doing. My next most um, underrated character, at least in my opinion, is SSR Chad. I used to have a, um, a couple side accounts and... One of those side accounts, before I gave these away quite some time back, I used to just use SSR Chad all the time. And he was just really good. And, you know, you guys know how much I, I tout control and control-based teams. Well, let's look at his skill set. Because for a tank, he really can assist your control-based teams. His passive skill, at the end of the ally round, Chad regenerates a percentage of his missing HP. So he's constantly regenerating. And look at that. That's 25.2%. That's crazy. Okay. And then let's get his rage skill. Deals damage to all enemies and reduces the rage of two random enemies by 100. That's what I was talking about earlier. And increase the damage reflection rate of all allies by 20% for one round, and it deals additional damage to the enemy front row equal to 5% of Chad's total health. His combo, his mastery skill, deals damage to a single enemy and reduces the target's rage recovery rate by 20%. Again, what I was talking about with using them with control teams. Increase Chad's defense by 40% and damage reduction rate by 15% for one round. His skill set is really good. And now we're talking, I just talked about the SSR Yurichi. Now we're talking about the SSR Chad. 
both of these are great frontliners with really amazing skill sets to take advantage of. Next character I want to talk about is Mashiro. Mashiro's passive skill just increases the attack of the back row allies. But you go, I go, oh, just increases the attack of the back row allies. But if you use her in tandem, and again, I'm talking about people, especially if you're on earlier servers, with Tosin or other available characters that push that back line, you can make a vicious back line early on in this game. Her rage skill deals damage to an enemy and reduces the target's healing received by 40% for one round. Again, another solid skill that is so good in the meta because there are so many healers out there. Increase all female allies attack by 10%. After Weapon Awakens, damage increases greatly and all female allies' damage rate is increases significantly. So think about that for a second. You put her on a team with Armadura Ricci on the back line. So you are now getting a 10% push on your Armadura Ricci or even let's just say Halibel back there as well as that you have this possible increase from your Rage skill. It's just really solid. And again, she doesn't have to be on an all-female team, but it helps all-female allies. So she really does extend much further when you can really group up a team that is using multiple females, especially as your attacker. Her mastery skill deals damage to an enemy and lowers the target's damage reduction rate by 10%. Again, not spectacular, but good. But the point being with her is you can beef her up somewhat and put her on that front line or you can leave her in the back line because she does decent damage. But again, another character, you know, you see female teams, but you don't see Mashiro a lot of time on those teams. And she is amazing to work with, especially with the all-female teams. Next up for what I think is some of the most underrated characters is SR or Hime. And I know we've got plenty of healers out there, but if you're missing some or you need an extra push, let's take a look at her because she's actually really good. Let's take first look at her passive skill. When Orihime releases her rage skill, the target of healing is healed for an additional 12% of their total health. While Orihime is on the field, the ally back row takes decreased damage from DOT effects. That's what I actually love about her. That, that ability to help that back line with the DOT effects is really, really, really solid. Her rage skill heals the ally with the lowest HP and allies in the same row. Increases the damage reduction rate of the ally with the lowest HP by 15% for two rounds and casts recovery on them. Recovery at the end of each round regenerates HP proportional to the attack of the character that applied the effect. Again, solid healing. Her mastery skill deals damage to a single enemy and increases the target's injury rate by 50% last for two rounds. Now that's a great mastery skill for a healer because you know your healers aren't a lot of times aren't doing a lot of damage, but this is gonna allow that opponent's character that got hit by her to really take some extra damage for the next two rounds. Last of my top five most underrated characters is one that people will probably go, oh, he's not underrated. Bullshit, okay? I hardly see people using Shinji anymore. I haven't seen him used that effectively in so long. So I'm gonna throw him on this because I still think he is amazing and super underrated. Shinji's passive skill. When Shinji is on the field, the damage reduction rate of the ally back row is increased. Shinji has a 20% increased mastery skill proc chance. When Shinji attacks, if the target's rage is lower than his own, he deals additional damage equal to 5% of the enemy's total health, not to exceed 120% of Shinji's attack. Otherwise, there's a 20% chance to lower the target's rage by 150. That passive skill is a win-win on both sides. Let's talk about his rage skill. Deals damage to all enemies and reduces the rage recovery rate of targets by 20% for one round. Reduces the rage of the enemy with the highest rage by 250 and distributes it equally among all or among ally characters. 
phenomenal rage skill. Absolutely love it. His mastery skill deals damage to a single enemy, and enemy will not grant rage from this attack. Love it. I do. I just don't get why people don't use him more. So that's why I had to put him on my list of the five most underrated characters in Bleach Immortal Souls. So what were they again? It was the SSR Yorichi, SSR Chad, Mashiro, SR, SR Orihime, and Shinji. In the comments, let me know who you think is is underrated and who you think isn't getting the props they should or you abuse and you don't see anybody else use. So with that, as always, please like, please like, please like, and subscribe. Hope everybody's having a great day. Take care.